The Jamaica Reggae Boys are sitting on top of Group B in the CONCACAF Nation standing on 7 points, followed by Honduras on 6 points, Nicaragua on 4 points, Cuba on 3, Trinidad and Tobago on 2, French Guinea on 1. Now, let's talk about the Jamaica versus Nicaragua and also the potential 11 versus Honduras. Also, going to give you my player ratings. So sit back and enjoy this short commentary. Welcome, Sports Nation, to Sports DTM, the sports channel where we call sports down the middle. You can expect the latest in sports news, views, and reviews from our resident analysts. No sports topic is too controversial, and no team or player is above criticism. So just smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to make sure you don't miss out on our balanced offering of riveting sports content. And don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment below. Welcome to Sports DTM. Greetings Sports DTM fans and welcome to another exciting episode of Sports Down the Middle, your channel of undiluted sports content. Now the Jamaica Reggae Boys coming off a wonderful tool of victory over Nicaragua with an own goal coming from Jose in the 32 minute and in the 69th minute a Romario Williams goal. Now this was an exciting match nevertheless to say with some of the players really showing out and standing up, especially callback player Tyreek McGee. Yes, all the McGee fans were delightful of his display of football. He played really, really exceptionally, exceptionally well. Yes, exceptionally well. So let's jump into the player ratings of the game. Now, Andre Blake was sitting in goal, and I think he did Jamaica proud. One of the best goalkeeper um, we have seen in our generation. Yes, Andre Blake, one of the really top-notch goalkeeper in CONCACAF and for the Jamaican team. So, out of 10, Andre Blake get his full mark. 10 out of 10. Wonderful save. Make two wonderful save. Yes. Ethan Pinnock um, didn't have much to do, but he really stand up well. So out of 10, I give Ethan Pinnock a 8.5 out of 10. Damien Lowe um, play good, play the usual way Damien Lowe play. Um, he, he and Ethan Pinnock really make a good pair. So he, um, Damien Lowe got a yellow card, so I will give him 8 out of 10. Greg Lee. Uh, playing the usual Greg Lee, um, tackling, hard working. Um, Greg Lee, he was doing um, his part in the team. So Greg Lee also get an 8. Trayvon Gray um, coming in for um, Amari Bell. Um, this call up was a just call up, and I guess Trayvon Gray really proved himself in the back line. Didn't make any mistake as much. You understand so he really um fulfill his call and do what he was supposed to do so with that said Trevor and gray got also an eight bobby day cover read this was one of the best game i see bobby day cover read play in midfield um alongside with tyree mcgee um two the two goals was uh because of um bobby day cover read two crosses so bobby reed got an eight and a half yes karen anderson um never seen much you understand they didn't really see he break up a couple players and stuff like that i was really settling good in midfield he helped out so karen anderson got a seven and a half joel latobody was playing that holding um that defensive midfield as usual you understand uh, doing what he's do best and I said, try to break up tackle, but going forward, we didn't see much, much of him. You understand with passes and stuff like that. So with that, um, Joel Latibody got a seven. Uh, Romario Williams um, really play good, hold the ball up well. Yes, um, he's good off doing that. Hold the ball up well. He will hold up the ball well and um, get a, 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 a clear header in the first half. Didn't make use of it. And then, but he came back and he scored a tapping goal um, off of Greg Lee, um, Ed. 
Um, so with that, got a goal. So I'll give Omara Williams an eight. Damara Gray was pretty much silent, you know, not the exciting Damara Gray that we used to see. You understand? Uh, we need to see more of Damara Gray in the game. So with that said, Damara Gray got a seven. Tyreek McGee, outstanding performance in the midfield, the number ten role, unlocking play, key pass. He was, he was in. He had an hand in all of the plays, in all of the goals, so to speak. Uh, a nice long range ball to to Romario Williams. Romario Williams didn't take the ball down well, so we see that he has the range to pass the ball long, short range, and locking defense some key passes. So Tariq McGee uh, really came out good. So I gave Tariq McGee didn't play all of the game, so I gave him a eight and a half. Well done, Tariq McGee. Cephas, Ronaldo Cephas came on, didn't see much. And I said, so I don't have a grade for uh, Ronaldo Cephas nor normal Campbell. Um, Mason Oldgate um, came on, you understand? See, he has a little touch. He was firm in that uh, defensive mid position. We see that he can do something. So we want to give um, Mason Oldgate some more minutes. And let's see what he can do. So overall, that is my player ratings for those who take part in the Nick War game. Good game by the Jamaicans team. Now we turn our attention to Honduras and this time I'm going to give you my potential um, 11. So the game will play at the National Stadium. Yes, on the 14th. On the 14th. That's this Monday coming. Jamaica will play Honduras at the office. Now, who will make this potential 11? We see a lot of players didn't get any game um, against um, Nicaragua, mainly because of the, the, the pitch they, you, they were playing on the artificial turf. So we see a lot of players didn't get any game, didn't come on. So, here we go. Let's dive into my potential 11. Just want to let you know that Damien Lowe is out because of card accumulation. So Damien Lowe is out because of card accumulation. So let's dive into the potential 11. So Andre Blake will be in gold. Yes, the number one goalkeeper in CONCACAF, Andre Blake. Now my center back will be Ethan Pinnock. And my next centre back will be Mr. Joel Latibodier. So the pair is going to be Ethan Pinnock with Joel Latibodier. My left back is going to be Mr. Greg Lay. And my right back is going to be Mr. Trayvon Gray. Therefore, my centre mid will going to be Mr. Mason Holgate. I think Mason Holgate is going to start this one. So Mason Holgate will be my center defensive midfielder. All right, up front in midfield, we're going to start Bobby Decover Reed, who had a wonderful game. You understand? So Bobby Decover Reed will be starting in my center midfield. And also, I'll be taking out. Um, K. Roy Anderson and Mr. Casey Palmer will get the nod. So Casey Palmer is going to be the other centre midfield. Now the attacking midfield is going to be Mr. Tyreek McGee. Yes, Tyreek McGee will be up front attacking again. Now up front, we're going to have Mr. Demario Gray and we're going to not start Mr. Romario Williams and Mr. Michael Antonio would get the nod. So up front is Damaro Gray and Mikel Antonio up front. So there you have it. This is my potential 11. Andre Blake, Ethan Pinnock, Joel Latibodier, Greg Lee, Trayvon Gray, Mason Oldgate, Casey Palmer, Bobby Dacover Reed, Terry McGee, um, Damayo Gray and Mikel Antonio. 
So this is my potential 11 versus Honduras in the national stadium. So yes, that is my potential um, 11. Uh, you can tell me what is your potential 11, all right? And also you can give me your ratings, player ratings from the Jamaica versus Nicaragua game. Give me your player ratings and the, the, the marks you give the players. And also you can tell me your potential 11. Now, this has been another interesting episode of Sports Down the Middle. Always remember to like the video, leave a comment, share and subscribe. Don't forget to tell a friend so that friend could tell another friend and that friend could tell another friend. Be blessed.